Hey guys, so I just wanted to do a speed and camera comparison here between the Redmi Note 4 phone and the Redmi Note 3 that we do have. So basically, uh, we wanted to see how the uh, newest budget Xiaomi did compare here uh, with the Redmi Note 3. Uh, this is the Pro version as well, so you know where uh, we can see how the performance is. And I've found the uh, Redmi Note 4 to be a uh, nicely built handset. It's got some chamfered edges. Uh, it looks like they're using a higher grade of aluminium than what they used before. A bit disappointed that they didn't bring the Type-C connectivity, but it's good that they moved the USB port in the middle compared to how it was before. And the uh, as you can see, there's also some nice speakers here which should emit better sound. We're still running the uh, Lollipop on the Redmi uh, Note 3, which is a bit annoying because I've tried to update it many times, but for some reason it just doesn't uh, want to do it on mine. So, you know, I think these phones are a little bit more for advanced users, for people who know how to install things. But if you can look past the uh, software, issues you'll find that uh, you know you're getting very nice user interface there have been some nice uh, improvements from MIUI 7 on to MIUI 8 that you do get with the Redmi Note 4 which takes a bloody long time to start up you know if I must say so myself I don't know why it takes so long but maybe they'll optimize that I could have gone to Starbucks the time that it's taken to boot up here. I mean, seriously. Redmi Note 3 has been waiting for ages. <laughs> I've also got it on the uh, performance mode as well. So that should come up in a bit, but you can see there's got some nice noises here as well when you're doing stuff Which you don't get with the uh, Well, you do get the old ones, but they're not as interesting If you ask me some people don't like these noises, but I do So it should come up in a minute that we're using the performance mode uh, but uh, we can just close everything off here and have a look at the day-to-day -day workings of them see how fast they are opening some apps so so far it looks like the uh, Redmi Note 3 is a little bit uh, quicker here I mean seriously I think the Redmi Note 3 has the Snapdragon 650 processor so that uh, is very you know competitive against the um against the helio x20 that you do get with the redmi note 4 and you can see it you know as i said it's very competitive here can't really see a massive gain on the redmi note 4 in terms of the speed if anything the redmi note 3 is faster here and we're just going to give the screen a wipe because I don't think these budget phones have very good oleophobic properties. That drives me mad. There we go. Uh, let's try another one. Nice transitions. Yeah, so I think uh, a little bit faster with this one, which is nice. Let's just check out the speakers on both of them. So it's just one speaker. I hate it when manufacturers do that. They put two speakers there, but it's actually only one. And where's the speaker here? Ah, it's on the back. So I guess it's in a better place, but you know, I think generally they should have like, if they're having two, they should have two outputs. It's really, 
shady to me but nevertheless we can have a look at the uh, Wi-Fi speed have a look at the performance here so let's go and let's go 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 so both of these support 5G Wi-Fi and they're both on the 5G one which is good we don't want to see 2G in 2016 whoops too soon see I'm getting ahead of myself whoa what are you doing so you can see it had a life of its own then and just went for it and it certainly got better than the Redmi Note 3 uh, you can see better for the upload and the download which is nice a little bit of improvement here and we're going to have a look at the web browsing does that translate into better performance we will certainly find out go no so you can see the redmi note 3 is still uh, faster here when it comes to loading the page up with the snapdragon 650 both of them i think have three gigs of ram but the redmi note 4 has 64 gigs internal storage which is very generous for a budget phone but you can see the actual page loading much faster here on the right again a bit disappointing performance here from the redmi note 4 maybe it's because it's you know newer software who knows this is what you do get with xiaomi a little bit weird software quirks uh, so we're just looking at the multitasking now do they reload it looks like it it looks like the Redmi Note 3 is faster to recover as well when it does reload. So, you know, you can take that how you want to take it. I think the Redmi Note 3 is a fantastic phone still here. You can see going into it much faster on all of them nearly. Do they keep the games in memory? Let's have a look. So Redmi Note 3 does, Redmi Note 4 can't. So this is, you know, I think this is what you're going to, you know, have to deal with with the the uh, Redmi phones. Sometimes the software is pretty weird, you know. you got all the spec in the world, but I don't know how uh, Xiaomi is going to justify the price of the, you know, Mi Note two which is going to be like more expensive than most phones if they can't get the software quite as polished as other manufacturers uh, in terms of the camera i have been out to test this and i gotta say it's a, a, a remarkable improvement in terms of the colors and uh, you know the level of detail here you can see this is a low light shot that we did do and uh, I was just using the auto mode, but you can obviously use a manual mode as well. Uh, you can see the colours here much nicer, you know, in terms of the uh, saturation and uh, the background. There's less grain and very easy to make out what's happening. Uh, so the low lights are, you know, amazing on the Redmi Note 4 uh, here. Don't know what they've done with it. I don't think it has optical image stabilization or anything, but you can see, you know, certainly an improvement, even with the good light shots, uh, absolutely fantastic uh, performance on the Redmi Note 4, much more colorful, less washed out, and uh, better, you know, resolution of the background details here uh, when you zoom in. So that is a nice improvement. In terms of the video, 
they both uh, do uh, full HD uh, recording which uh, you'll find is uh, very uh, improved on the Redmi Note 4 again. So you get a few more modes when it comes to the actual software here so you do access it a little bit different on both of them but you can see a little bit different in terms of the modes you get manual mode on both of them uh, and the HHT mode is quite good so yeah you know what can you say here a little bit mixed when it comes to the performance but maybe that will be improved with software updates uh, overall, I'm quite happy with the build quality uh, improvements and the improvements to the camera. Uh, but you know, I think uh, I still I probably recommend other phones over it if you're not uh, that good when it comes to you know software updates and things like that. If you want it just to be handled uh, and not have to bother with it, that's the only real drawback with Xiaomi phones. Uh, but yeah, hope you found the comparison helpful if you're looking at these two and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.